Democrats have Republicans, Darth Vader has Luke Skywalker, and Lindsay Lohan has Hillary Duff. These actress singers just love to feud with each other. They're arch enemies to the end. Lindsay Lohan and Hilary Duff are like the Superman and Lex Luthor of the teen pop world. So it's always a big deal. From the time that they were 16, they were saying terrible things about each other long before they were both as famous as they are now. So excited! The cat fight kicked off back in 2002 when Hillary stole Lindsay's ex, Aaron Carter. Then Hillary dared to show up at Lindsay's movie premiere for Freaky Friday, and Lindsay freaked out. There's enough teenage boys masturbating to you that you do not need to be fighting over one person. So Lindsay struck back in December 2003 at Hillary's Cheaper by the Dozen premiere. It's really crazy. Whatever. Let's say you're Lindsay Lohan. You don't like Hillary Duff. Why would you go to Hillary Duff's movie premiere? Whatever. Answer? Go up and cause a scene. Yeah, whatever. The fight keeps going on, and even though both of their publicists say, there's nothing wrong here, they totally get along, there's really no love lost between these two. The final battle of the premiere wars was in 2004, when Hillary banned Lindsay from the opening of A Cinderella Story. Hello, hello. Crazy, 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 crazy. It's basically they're doing a celebrity version of you're not invited to my birthday party. Now it's about movie openings and premieres and like angry text messages. I hate you. I hate you back. When mean girl Lindsay hosted Saturday Night Live in May 2004, she took the feud to the airwaves. I invited Hillary Duff to be here with me tonight. So come on out, Hillary. <laughs> I'm glad we're clearing things up. I agree, Lindsay. Our whole feud is so yesterday. So yesterday, so yesterday. Bringing that into the open was kind of awesome because it was like, wow, you're really famous mostly because you're fighting with Hillary Duff. Like, Disney Girl's gone wild. Woohoo! Run for cover, cover. Hillary fought back in Blender Magazine. Well, sort of. Hillary's response is, some days I just feel like I hate her. Like, that is so weak. Slap her. Throw a pie in her face. But things got really ugly backstage at a good Charlotte concert at Madison Square Garden when Hillary brought Lindsay's little bro into the feud. Lindsay's younger brother is a huge fan of Good Charlotte, and the lead singer of Good Charlotte is dating Hillary Duff. I wish that she was shut up. And Lindsay's brother went up to him and asked him for an autograph, and the lead singer of Good Charlotte said, Bring your mom over here, or I'm not giving you an autograph until Lindsay says she's sorry to Hillary. And the little kid burst into tears. And it was a total, like, girly girl thing going on. Thank you. And they've even turned their feud into music. It's a teeny bopper version of a rap battle. First up was Hillary's song, Haters, released in September 2004. In her song, Haters, she really goes after Lindsay Lohan. She's like... You're the queen of superficiality. Keep your lies out of my reality. And those right away were fighting words. And then Lindsay Lohan counters with rumors. So sick of rumors starting. And they seem to use their albums purely as a vehicle to attack each other in these diss songs. I hope one day that these two girls can get together and can be friends again for the sake of all of us. Here's some dirty laundry for us. I love you, Hillary Duff. Wow. 